PLC versus PAC. At a glance, both the PAC and PLCs seem to have the same functionality. The ability to control and monitor industrial processes. Both the terms are used interchangeably, and the difference between the two seems clobby. However, the two are different from each other with distinctive approaches. The following is a detailed comparison of PLC versus PAC and how you can employ each to get the required output. Architecture A PLC architecture comprises the design specifications of numerous software and hardware devices. It also heavily relies upon the interaction between various devices to contribute to the whole PLC system. It is important to note that the general reference behind a PLC system are principles used in a conventional computing design architecture. That is, the PLC architecture is built just like a traditional computer. While the four most essential components in a PLC are power supply, processor section, I.O. section, and programming segment. On the other side, open architecture and modular design are the prominent features of a programmable automation controller system. Hence, you can include various devices, networks, and systems to interact and deliver the output. Such a system assists in the communication, monitoring, and regulation of multiple networks and devices, allowing you to facilitate system expansion operations. The best thing about PACs is that they can monitor and control dozens of input and output endpoints simultaneously, thanks to their tag-based programming technology. Once you link them to a specific input or output device, you can also link these tag-based programs to various functions. Simply put, a PLC system involves greater functionality than traditional relay-based systems, allowing you to code the sequence of various input or output devices. Conversely, PAC systems offer simplified functionality thanks to their user-friendly software and hardware architecture. Processor Module the processor module can be best defined as the controller's brain. It is typically designed around the processor and executes the commands according to the automation approach. The difference between PLC versus PAC in processor modeling is that PLC is a single microprocessor device while PAC is a multiprocessor device. The input or output modules in PLC deliver input signals into its microprocessor and regulate other parts, including motors, sensors, actuators, etc., by sending control signals. Furthermore, PLC is responsible for regulating machines' infrastructure, manufacturing, and transportation. On the other hand, PAC comprises two or more processors, something that makes it similar to a PC. A PAC device serves as an all-rounder, multitasking and regulating automation of different machines and other equipment pieces. Programming The programming interface is the most noticeable distinction between PLCs and PACs. PACs, which are written in C or C++, are more complex. PLCs, on the other hand, use ladder logic to program them. Because of the programming variations, the architecture and capabilities of the two computers differ. Usage The functionality of a PLC system can be categorized into inputs, outputs, and CPU operations, which help interact, monitor, and regulate mechanical devices such as robotic systems and assembly lines. Notably, collecting data from the plant floor in a programmable logic controller system is facilitated by monitoring the interaction between the inputs given and the output delivered by linked machines and devices. Furthermore, PLC systems offer broader functionality with integrated networks, allowing them to regulate consistent interactions between other PLC systems, input and output devices, SCADA systems, and human-machine interfaces. Programmable automation controller systems, on the other hand, employ standard network protocols and tools, the most popular of which are Ethernet, SQL, and object linking and embedding for process control. A PAC system is widely used to interact, monitor, and regulate mechanical equipment in industries using these technologies. Since PACs have a more open architecture and modular design, they can also monitor and regulate a significant number of input and output devices. If you are looking to integrate robotics and other automation solutions into your production, contact B2E Automation today. We can work with you to develop a custom solution that works best for you.